what's up guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be going through five things i like and five things i dislike about this stealth bomber clone i've had this bike for over a year now and i've rode it enough to understand what i like and dislike about it so without further ado let's get into it go for a ride and talk about these things all right so here we are on this beautiful machine and i guess i'll start with the positive things and then we'll move on to the negative things so some of the positive things i like thing number one is this hub motor and just how quiet this thing is compared to like a mid-drive i also have a suron so compared to a mid-drive the suron is much louder i mean it's kind of a good thing when you're on the trail people can hear you coming but when you're riding on the road on this thing it's a completely different experience it's like the full electric experience in a way you truly feel like you're riding an electric bike uh, it's just so smooth it's just you all you can hear is the tires on the road and it's just an amazing feeling so that's definitely a big big thing i like the second thing i like about this bike is just how smooth this thing is it is amazing kind of goes hand in hand with my first thing that i like about it it's just so smooth and so much fun to ride uh, that it truly feel like a true e-bike i mean the suron also feels like an e-bike don't get me wrong but it's a different feeling than this so that's number two the third thing that i like about this bike is its design slash the way it looks it's just an amazing looking bike it looks like something out of a terminator movie it is so futuristic looking it just looks amazing everywhere you go you get compliments on the bike people are looking not that i care for that but it's it's a really really nice bike the way it looks so that's number three the fourth thing i like about this bike is the fact that it comes with pedals which allows you to have a little bit more of an ease of mind when you're riding this bike you can ride it in a lot of different places and not get so much heat for for riding an e-bike where i live not a lot of people care anyways to be honest with you it's like one out of a hundred people is like a karen but for the most part having these pedals just allows you to ride it in a lot of different areas that otherwise you wouldn't be able to so i definitely like that about this bike and the fifth and final thing i like about this bike is bang for buck just the value overall you get when purchasing this bike i do have a video on how to purchase this bike i'll put a link up here or in the description as well for the power you're getting and the price you're paying it's really hard to beat that it's really really hard to beat that so as far as value for your money this is one of the top options out there today so these are the top five things i like about this bike there's other things as well but these are the top five things i truly like about this bike and now let's move on to the negative the things i dislike about this bike the number one thing i dislike about this bike has to be the weight this is one heavy heavy bike um, I'm not sure the exact weight of this bike but I'm assuming it has to be somewhere in the 170 180 pounds she's pretty bulky and if you're on a trail or something like that I don't really take this trail riding but I did a few times if you kind of get stuck and you have to do a u-turn or turn around it, it's pretty heavy to move around so that's one thing I do not like about this bike compared to my Suron let's just say the second thing I dislike about this bike is pretty much servicing like changing the tire on this bike especially the rear tire where the hub is is a pain it is unlike any other bike I have you have to open up the sides disconnect the motor feed it through the situation you have to disconnect the motor completely take out the tire the hub motor itself is heavy uh, and just the whole experience of changing a tire on this bike is is not fun and i'm not looking forward to it so that's something to keep in mind the front tire is not not a problem you can just open it normally but the back the rear with the hub motor that's a little bit of a pain so i definitely do not like changing tires on this bike the third thing i dislike about this bike is just the battery placement 
so there's no easy way to replace batteries in and out like a Suron does it's uh, the battery is housed right here on the side and you got to take out like 12 screws and the way the battery sits with the controller it's just a mess you have to disconnect so many things in order to take the battery out it's like once the battery is in there you kind of want to leave it alone and and keep it in there um, but if you are thinking about changing batteries back and forth it's not really the platform to do that this is more of a keep it in there and that's it so i don't like that whole situation at all the fourth thing i dislike about this bike is pretty much uphill torque now if you're starting an uphill and just all, you're already with momentum there's no problem at all it will it will do that uphill you'll feel a, a little bit of a difference but it, it will actually climb but if you're for some reason uh, stop halfway through a hill it doesn't even have to be the craziest hill uh, grade if you stop halfway through and then start going from zero you can definitely tell that the hub motor is struggling so as far as uphill torque mid drive is far better for that the Suron uh, is way better for when it comes to that type of stuff so I do not like uphill torque on this bike this is more of like a to me at least my opinion this is more of a road machine road monster and the fifth and final thing I dislike about this bike is actually the seat it's not that I dislike it it's just not the most comfortable this bike comes with two options one that's like a mountain bike type seat and one that's a dirt bike type seat I have the dirt bike type seat and the angle of it and the material is okay but after a few hours of riding i mean it definitely starts hurting it's not the most comfortable uh by any means so definitely something to look at or if you know upholstery uh you definitely might want to uh open the seat up add some foam to it so that's something to keep in mind again overall this is a great machine and like i said value for your money it's hard to beat but there are some things that i figured if you guys are looking into getting a bike and are not 100 percent sure at least i can give you my opinion from my experience of owning this bike for quite some time so i hope this information helps you guys make the right decision or at least know more about this bike and if you could do me a favor and just leave a like down there if it helped you out that truly truly helps the channel and if you like this type of content and want to see more of it definitely make sure to subscribe join our family but that's pretty much it for me guys appreciate you guys watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace